Well, hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a very interesting video for you. By now you've all heard about the frame generation mode, the Deki frame gen. I made a video on it, everybody else made a video on it. And what we really focused in those videos is the actual frame generation being enabled for uh, some games that originally don't have that. So there are a lot of games that support frame generation using DOSS but there aren't that many games that do support that using FSR. There's, there's just a handful, most of them are uh, PlayStation games. But what this mod does is it basically replaces DOSS with FSR. What I did want to try is does this actually work for games that don't support frame generation at all, don't support FSR, but do support DOSS. So there are a ton of games that support DOSS. So I've decided to test a handful of games right now and I discovered that this does indeed work even without frame generation. You can increase your performance dramatically in some games. So without further ado, we're going to take a look at some games here today and I'm going to show you my results. There was a comment on my video specifically that uh, pretty much said that this doesn't re doesn't just enable you to use DOSS. It pretty much replaces the DOSS presets with FSR 3.1 equivalent. So if the game does not natively support FSR, this enables that support. So it doesn't magically turn on DOSS. So we're starting off with The Witcher. Now The Witcher specifically does have frame generation, but it it's really, we don't want to talk about frame generation, okay? We know the drawbacks it has, so let's just forget about it. We are specifically going to talk about FSR versus DOSS, and I'm not going to pretend I understand how they work, and if one just replaces the other or whatever, I will just show you the results for myself. So here we are with The Witcher, and the first couple of seconds of this video, I am using DOSS set to performance mode, and we are hitting about 45, 50 FPS. This is on a low or medium preset. It doesn't really matter because the graphics settings that I use across these two tests are exactly the same. The only thing I'm switching is from DOSS performance to FSR2 performance. So I'm not really sure if this is going to be DOSS or FSR3 or forcing it, but you can clearly see that when I switch to FSR2, we're no longer getting that 50 FPS. We're now down to 30 FPS. So one of them works better, okay? Let's just call it the DOSS works better. You can correct me in the comments and say that's not DOSS, that's just FSR equivalent or whatever. Fact of the matter is, when I switch to DOSS performance, it, it works and looks incredibly better. I gain about 15 FPS in this case, and in some cases with this test, in some of my testing with these games, I gain double the FPS when turning on DOSS. And for some of these games, you then don't have another option. You only have DOSS. You can see switching it immediately. I go from 33 to 45. So yeah, clearly works. The next test I have, and the one that I think showcases this uh, the most, is Crisis 2 Remastered. So currently, I have Crisis 2 Remastered, medium settings, and DOSS set to performance. Now, this game does not have an FSR option. You can only use DOSS if you have NVIDIA card. But I have it here working on the Steam Deck using the exact same mod that we have already covered the other day. And as you can see, I'm hitting 76, 79, 80 FPS. Sometimes even I can hit 90 FPS on the OLED. By the way, all of this is shot using my phone because I think it will better showcase the amount of FPS that we can reach using this mod. So currently, this is turned on. And in this clip, I am going to turn it off. And so this is currently with it on, and now I am going to turn that off. We're still at medium settings. I'm going to just disable DOSS, and you can see that my frame rate immediately drops. So we're down to 55, 54, uh, even going to go down below 50 to 45 or something like that when I get into combat. So we are already dropping to 40s. So it, you can clearly see that it makes a difference. And I will turn that back on now. 49, 45, and if I turn that back on, set to performance mode. You can, by the way, use the other modes as well. It's just performance makes the biggest difference. In this case, we're already jumping 10, 15 FPS above that. And it is smooth as hell. There is no input lag because we're not using anything like frame generation. We're just using DOSS here. So I think Crisis 2 really showcases this. 
the best way. I've also tried it with Crisis 3 and it works fantastic there as well. Uh, the next thing I have is um, Path of Exile. Now, Path of Exile is interesting because in this case, I can agree that this mod just replaces FSR with DOSS because when you do use it, you can only choose between either. So if you if you turn on the mod, you can only select DOSS and FSR is grayed out. And if you unpatch it, if you delete the mod, you can only select FSR and then DOSS is grayed out. So maybe this is not really doing much, but I did notice a difference with this. Running it at DOSS at performance, I think it looks better. Uh, I'm not sure, again, if this is forcing a higher version of FSR or anything like that, but it does look better and it does run better uh, using DOSS instead of FSR with Path of Exile specifically. Now, I did not compare this directly. I compared it without upscaling and with the upscaling, but again, I think DOSS works a little bit here. Uh, maybe it gains 2 or 3 FPS more than it did FSR. Now, this doesn't work for all games, unfortunately. Now, there's a list on NVIDIA's website, and you can find hundreds of games that say they have DOSS on. And I tried, I downloaded a bunch of these games that I have purchased and I have in my library. And for some of them, even though I patched them, you can't really select DOSS. Like, for example, Need for Speed Unbound, it doesn't even come up in the options. I only have FSR2 and XCSS, so I can't really do anything. It doesn't change anything for other games is will straight up break the game. So for example, Power World, I enabled the patch and when I logged in, I couldn't see anything. There's no textures, only the UI loads and I can't really see my base, it's just black screen. And as soon as I unpatch it, uh, everything goes back to normal. So for some of these games, it's totally going to break the game, but it's pretty easy to revert it. And uh, as I said, it's not going to work for, for every game, but this is a beta and it's a work in progress. And uh, I think, it might eventually work. Now, some other games that support both FSR and DOSS, I saw no difference whatsoever. Now, God of War, the original, supports both FSR and DOSS, and there's virtually no difference across both of them. And some other games, like, for example, Deep Rock Galactic, there is a huge difference. So currently, what you're seeing on the screen is Deep Rock Galactic with DOSS set to performance mode, and it looks pretty good. We're getting about 50, 55 FPS, maybe even 60, I think, at some point. And as soon as I switch to FSR, we start to see a lot more blurry picture. Like if you, for example, look at my weapon here, you can barely make out the numbers or the UI on the weapon screen. And it looks really bad. It still performs at 60 or above 60 FPS, but it just looks so fuzzy. And as soon as I switch back to the OSS, Again, this is between DOSS and FSR2, both are on performance. I'm not changing anything else. And now look, it looks a lot better. So there's clearly some sort of difference. Again, Covert FSR3 or 3.1 or 3.1.3, whatever. But between these two options, there's clearly a difference. And this is being enabled by this Deki Frame Gen mod. I do have uh, another example here, No Man's Sky. In this case, the game wouldn't even launch. So again, this, as, as I said, this is a mixed bag. It's not going to work for every game, but for some it works great. For others, it's just not going to work. It's worth testing out. And I will link in the description the list with all the games that have DOSS. So if you have one of these games and if you want to tinker with that, you can try and you can see some amazing results. And the last case I have is Crisis 3 Remastered. I set everything to very high so we can force a lower FPS and currently, this is everything on very high, without any DOSS, without any upscaling. We're getting around 34, 32 FPS. And as soon as I turn on DOSS performance, we will get into the high 50s and even above 60. So it's clearly doing something. It's clearly working all right. And uh, I just uh, thought I'd share this with you guys. This mod, it doesn't just help with frame generation. I think we got that all wrong. The main idea of it is to enable frame generation, but that's not all it does. Uh, it can also help with games that don't support that. So that's going to be it for the video. Thanks you guys for watching. If you did enjoy it, leave a like and consider subscribing for more Steam Deck content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.